Montez Ford. Much love to him and everybody out there serving in the past, the present, and the future. Of course, we are a week away as well from the 35th annual Survivor Series at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, exclusively on Peacock. And now Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan. Big match here tonight for Liv Morgan as she continues to try to climb the ladder in WWE. Here's the former champ, Bianca Belair. Liv Morgan putting in the work, grinding, shining, trying to blow up. And Bianca Belair, who has been at the top, Trying to get right back up. What was that? And of course, Pat Bianca Belair and the trademark ponytail. The hair that hangs almost out of the mat. Bianca, we have seen, has used that hair to her advantage. Here we go. Cover and a kick out. Yeah, the trademark ponytail has certainly been a topic of conversation. But how about the triple jointed shoulder of Liv Morgan? Yeah. Liv Morgan, scrappy. Scrap into the top of the heap in WWE. Bianca Belair. Oh, look at roll through by Liv. Shoulders are down now. Bianca Morgan's shoulders down again. Another near fall. And Belair with a shoulder tackle. Calls herself the EST of WWE. The strong guest. The fast guest. The great test. The roughest, the toughest. All-American track and field athlete from the University of Tennessee. Uber athleticism on display there. And Morgan! And look at Liv. Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair and a great one here. A tribute to the troops. We are back at the 19th annual tribute to the troops. Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan. Very competitive matchup here. Oh, and Morgan driving Belair into the corner. Can Liv Morgan pull off which has to be considered an upset, Pat? A big-time upset. I'd say. I think the troops would say as well. Oh, spine buster. Stack her up for Bianca Belair and Liv kicks out. A spine-shattering spine buster. And, and that had to hurt. Had to hurt. Liv Morgan... Even with the deep pin applied by Bianca, able to kick out. Liv trying to make it back to her feet. She does. Bianca Belair. Power on display. Liv up top. Liv trying to fight out of this. Whoa, whoa. Roll through. Shoulders down. Morgan May Howard. Belair almost got caught. Oh, and a step up in Zaguri. Belair's down. It could be out. Can Liv Morgan take advantage? On the button there from Liv Morgan. Could have landed that thing in a keyhole. It was so clean. Again, watch. Bang! Right to the temple. That just moments after almost. Now, Liv's got to try to fight back into this, Pat. Liv's got an opportunity here. Not just an opportunity. She's been close a couple times with a boom. Boom. Kick to the jaw. Picture perfect. Step up in Seguri from Liv Morgan. Bianca sidesteps Liv. Look at Morgan, how competitive has she been here tonight? Now off the second rope, says, come on, Bianca. Bianca Belair with all the power. Going for a Hurricane Rana, now she's going for a ride. Morgan dropped off the top turnbuckle. Bianca Belair now has Liv right where she wants her. The KOT, kiss of death. Belair with the win. Look on Bianca's face, surprised at the effort from Liv Morgan tonight. What a matchup. Bianca, I think, she thought she was going to be able to waltz in here and get an easy win. Not the case. Liv Morgan almost ended this whole thing a couple times. And then at the end, kiss of death. Bianca Belair gets the win, but Liv Morgan impresses. Here at tribute to the troops. Learned a lot about Liv Morgan in this match here tonight. Well, it's been great learning about these extraordinary members of the military tonight. And Pat, before we introduce our next one, WWE has a new tag team partner. WWE is proud to announce.
announce a new partnership with the National Medal of Honor Museum Foundation. Visit mohmuseum.org for more info. And now we'd like to introduce you to the oldest living Medal of Honor recipient, a 98-year-old legend. Individuals sacrificed their life so that we could have all the privileges we have and have the opportunity and the thrill of saying, I am an American. And I am an American because others made it possible. Iwo Jima has proven the toughest, bloodiest battle the Marines have ever fought. There were 27 Medals of Honor awarded for Iwo Jima. 13 of us survived. The others sacrificed their lives. I am the last of the 13. I'm Woody Williams, a Medal of Honor recipient from World War II, a United States Marine. I was volunteered to be a flamethrower operator and selected four other Marines to give me some protection as I approached the pillboxes that were holding us up. And in the process of eliminating seven of those pillboxes, two of those Marines sacrificed their lives protecting me. Receiving of the Medal of Honor depended as much on them as the work that I was doing, and I wear it in their honor. I have been called over the years a hero. I'm not. The heroes are those who never got to come home. The Woody Williams Foundation serves Gold Star families, those who have lost a loved one serving in the United States military. It keeps families believing that that individual is serving with and for a purpose of protecting us and protecting our freedom. We owe a debt to those who sacrificed their lives to keep us a free people. They did it for a cause greater than themselves. And they are never going to be forgotten. This is what America is all about. Semper Fi, Marine. A true American treasure and hero. Cole, he does things at 98 that you couldn't dream about doing now. A good one, Pat. Well, I acknowledge Woody. And now it's time to acknowledge the head of the table. The man who's held the Universal Championship for the last 441 days. Roman Reigns. The greatest of all time, the Tribal Chief, the Universal Champion. You know, Pat, next Sunday is the 35th annual Survivor Series when the champions from Friday Night SmackDown take on the champions from Monday Night Raw. And what that means is a clash between this man, the Universal Champion Roman Reigns, and the man we saw earlier on tonight, the WWE Champion Big E. What a massive battle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by his special counsel, Paul Heyman, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the Universal Champion Roman what kind of force would Roman be in the military? Oh, man, tough one, boy. An Apache helicopter? Uh, maybe an F-15 Eagle Fighter jet? What's the latest battleship? The M-1 Abrams tank all rolled into one? The greatest force in WWE? He's the Universal Champion, and he's in action next. Welcome back to the 19th Annual Tribute to the Troops. Roman Reigns is almost ready. But first, let's meet a Navy veteran who's retired but hardly slowing.